This was the scene in 1987, when the River Blackwater overtopped its banks, flooding the villages of Kelverdon, Fearing and Coggeshall. It also happened in 2001, again with devastating consequences, when more than 200 homes and 15 businesses were affected. It caused an estimated £10 million worth of damage. Many of the properties were of architectural and historical significance. And it's happened since. So to protect the area, the Environment Agency wants to enlarge the floodplain within the Blackwater Valley and build a dam to control the flow of water. When flooding happens, it's really devastating for people, infrastructure, business, possessions, their homes. And it goes on for a long, long time. Um, people wake up when it's raining and hear the rain and worry that it's going to happen again. This is why we've been looking at a, a scheme for this area and the communities around here for over 20 years. So what we're proposing is a dam, which is a clay dam, which goes from the football ground up to the lane up there. It will be blended in, so it'll be blended in with the landscape, and it'll have a hole in there. It's a concrete culvert, which will allow flow through there, but it'll also act like a plug hole, so that when the flow becomes too heavy, it then backs up and fills the floodplain. This is achieved through using a passive control structure, like this one in Halstead, which limits the flow of the water from the river cone. In times of heavy rainfall, water is released onto the floodplain, protecting the town from flooding. The water then drains away and normal river levels are restored. For the proposed £25 million flood alleviation scheme to be financially viable, the Environment Agency has partnered with Blackwater Aggregates, which operates the sand and gravel quarry at Bradwell. Funding will also come from the government-funded Flood Defence Grant in Aid and the private sector. To create the enlarged floodplain, quarry operations will extend eastwards in four main phases over 20 years, nearing Coggeshall in the final years. The dam will be constructed in year six and will offer immediate improvements to the standard of flood protection. Work will be hidden behind grass buns and after each section is quarried, it will be restored, extending the floodplain in the process. This is the view looking eastwards towards Coggeshall before the work is done. And this is what the view will be like once everything is complete and restored 20 years later. Working in partnership with Blackwater Aggregates, this will provide a sustainable and economical scheme. 13 million tonnes of sand and gravel will be excavated on site to create an extension in the floodplain for the River Blackwater. This, along with the construction of the dam, will store up to 3 million cubic metres of water. This will provide a long-term solution for flood protection for the communities of Coggeshall, Fearing and Kelverden for up to including the one in a hundred year event. Final designs for the scheme have now been drawn up, taking into account feedback from public drop-in events in 2019 and an online questionnaire. Subject to agreement with local landowners, the updated designs include planting more woodland, including native trees, creating biodiverse habitats for wildlife, and incorporating new footpaths and bridleways. Existing footpaths would be temporarily diverted and HGV access to the site would remain from the established side road from the A120, avoiding local villages. The commercial willow plantation will remain, while the floodplain grassland area and arable fields on the higher land next to Cut Edge Lane will return to managed farmland. The existing processing plant will continue to operate, while access for the earth-moving plant will be from the existing quarry via a crossing point over Cut Edge Lane, similar to those that already exist along Ash Lane and Church Road. Following the creation of the scheme, the Environment Agency and local landowner will manage and maintain the dam, footpaths and habitats for future generations. If the flood alleviation scheme is not able to progress, there is no alternative economically viable Plan B to protect the 203 homes and 15 businesses at risk within Coggeshall, Fearing and Kelverdon. With weather patterns changing, flooding is predicted to be more frequent and of a higher level. 
That's why when we design the scheme, the size of the scheme is dependent on the 100 year forecast plus climate change. That's why any concerns with the scheme need to be balanced against what the scheme does now with flooding and how it will protect in the future. The plans take into account the guidance laid out in national flooding and environmental policy documents. A planning application and supporting environmental impact assessment will be submitted to Essex County Council's Minerals Planning Authority this year. This will be followed by a formal consultation process for people to comment on the plans. For further information, please visit our website.